They're off to the Belmont Gold Cup Invitational. And it's comes the dream who comes out running on the lead. Red Rifle to the outside is away running in second position. And right behind them is Arctic North in third. Manchurian High attack number fourth and fifth as they race for the first turn. Then reflecting Dynamic Sky to the inside. Unitarian Innovation Economy and Morning Calm is last of them all. Comes the dream will be the early pacemaker here and red rifle is kept close on the outside by john velasquez and that first quarter was 24 and four fifth seconds that's a solid pace for two miles arctic north is now three lengths off the lead running in third early then manchurian high followed by technum reflecting is seven lengths off the lead as they come to the top of the stretch for the first time dynamic sky and unitarian are right behind them and they're about nine behind at this stage of the race and then it's innovation economy and to the outside morning calm they've got a long way to go and comes the dream is the leader red rifle edges up alongside after a 50 and one half mile and red rifle now will take the lead with one lap to go and comes the dream is second by another three then arctic north to the inside of manchurian high tactum is fifth reflecting is sixth dynamic sky seventh on the inside of unitarian who's now about nine lengths from the front Innovation Economy is second last year, and Morning Calm continues to linger at the back after three quarters of a mile in 115 and three. So now they move into the clubhouse turn, and Red Rifle is the leader. Comes the Dream is a length and a half behind. Manchurian High is third to the outside, and then it's Arctic North running in fourth position as they start their run toward the back stretch. And then it's Tatnum outside of Reflecting, who's down toward the hedge. Unitarian is on the outside, and Unitarian is seven lengths off the lead right now, then Dynamic Sky toward the rail, Innovation Economy, and Morning Calm. So they make their run onto the back stretch for the final time now, and Red Rifle has opened up to a two and a half length lead. John Velasquez and Red Rifle in front overcomes the dream in Manchurian High. Then it's Arctic North to the inside. Tatnum is in fifth, reflecting a sixth. Unitarian and Javier Castellano beginning to move on the outside. And the pack is closing in now. Dynamic Sky is next. Innovation Economy and Morning Calm at the back of the field. So now they begin their run toward the far turn. And Red Rifle, the lead down to a half a length. Comes the dream on the outside is second. Manchurian High third. Arctic North tucked in behind horses, running in fourth on the inside. And then it's Tatnum, Unitarian on the far outside is next. Then Innovation Economy reflecting along the rail, Dynamic Sky and Morning Calm. They're so tightly packed after this long journey here. Red Rifle and Comes the Dream about to be taken on by Unitarian, who's right there to the outside and three wide as they come toward the top of the stretch. And Comes the Dream has recaptured the lead here from Red Rifle as they turn for home, but in the center of the course, here comes Unitarian now. And from far behind, Innovation Economy and Dynamic Sky are closing in too. Unitarian on the outside comes Innovation Economy. And then reflecting in Dynamic Sky and they're coming down to the line. And Innovation Economy wins it by a neck over Unitarian. It was very close between reflecting and Dynamic Sky for third and a final time of three minutes, 22.17 seconds. What about that closing kick from Innovation Economy and Unitarian after a two-mile race? That was going to be my point, Tom. You usually see a very gradual move by any come-from-behind horses in a race, even a mile and a half, much less two miles. But that was a pretty impressive finish by both number two, Innovation Economy, and number three, Unitarian. Both well back early, next to, uh, third from last and next to last. They were tracking each other. These two jocks, I read Ortiz and Javier Castellano, were keeping their eye on each other. Uh, exactly. And with Javier Castellano and Unitarian moved, so did I read Ortiz. And it's set up to stretch run, as we're going to see right here. A nice finish by both of these horses, wandering out in the middle of the track. It looked like... Uh, Javier kind of drifted out into the path of I read on, uh, on Innovation Economy, but Innovation Economy beat him anyway, so there's not going to be a foul. You know, Ortiz literally about a length and a half behind Unitarian, directly behind him, almost the entire way around there both times, just following Castellano and Unitarian, identifying him as the horse to beat. We ought to have more of these two-mile races. That, <laughs> that, was was that, that was an exciting finish. As you get another look at it from a head-on angle, and you see Unitarian drifting out into Innovation Economy there. But as Jerry pointed out, since Innovation Economy wins it, then there's really no beef. Yeah, I mean, if, if Unitarian would have won, there would have been a, a, probably an objection at the least. 
And I don't know if it would have been a disqualification, but it, it's, it's all for naught anyway. And after two tough defeats, Chad <laughs> Brown finally gets a victory here. Let's go to Donna. I read, first of all, congratulations. It ended up being a pretty hotly contested race for a two-mile race. Yes, first thing I want to say is thanks God and thanks the trainer and the owner for giving me the opportunity to be on this horse today. It's a very nice horse to my race, and he did it. He's one mile and a half grade, you know, and Chad is a good trainer. He do a great job with him. This is his third win in a row. He's won at a mile and three-eighths, mile and a half today, two miles. What do you think his best distance is? You know, he's a great horse. He can do anyone. I will say the trainer do a great job. He you ride Muktahish tomorrow in the uh, Belmont Stakes. You've been on him one time. Your thoughts about him? Yes, he's a very nice horse. I think he can go the mile and a half, so we see you tomorrow. All right, well, you know, we, we know you can go the distance, Irad. John? <laughs> All right, well, Irad has had a big day today already. Three stakes wins on the card at Belmont today. Five and a half furlongs, six furlongs, and now two miles. As Innovation Economy wins the Belmont Gold Cup, now with four wins and six starts, he doubled his career earnings to 270000 And when we come back, we'll have our Ram Tucks race replay.